New low on his approval rating of 36%, 36%, lower than I think any other president at this point in his term. 56% disapprove. 56 disapprove, only 36 approve. In February, his approval was 42, so he's down just from a couple of months ago. Um, and when you break it down by group, it gets even more shocking. Americans under age 30, 26% approval rating. Non-whites, 42%. Urban residents, 41%. Those with no religious affiliation, 46%. Among independents who voted for Biden in 2020, 57% approve. That's better. But he needs to get more than that. These are the people who he already got in his camp. So he's losing at least 30% of those because 30% say they disapprove. Those are the ones who voted for him, the independents. Among the independents who voted for Trump, 96% disapprove of Biden. And listen to this on the economy. Americans say Trump did a better job than Biden, 54 to 36. Uh, We'll go down the list when it comes to mental sharpness and some other specifics, head-to-head matchups in a second. But let me just get your reaction, guys, to those. I mean, that's the... That, that's his constituency, which has clearly turned on him. And we know that because he's already got 30% of his party wanting RFK or Marianne Williamson, Dave. And I don't know how he turns that around. I, don't, I mean, is he above water with people named Biden? I, <laughs> I, 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 it's not clear. Like, I, I, I'd like to see that poll number. Um, no, look, this this is a huge problem. He's clearly in, in, incredibly unpopular. And you know, you mentioned RFK Jr., and I'm very interested in that. I have a piece up just today at the Daily Wire where I think we all looked at that like 20 percent and our, our immediate reaction is like, that's just anybody but Joe. Right. That's just you could put Bart Simpson there and he gets 20 percent. I'm not so sure about that anymore, because in RFK Jr., you have a candidate who's against the vaccines. Right. Which is totally against the Democratic Party, which is the party of vaccine boost. He's expressed um, skepticism about the war in Ukraine, which is, again, something Democrats don't say. Just this week, he said that biological men shouldn't play sports with biological women. I'm starting to wonder if this more moderate lane in the Democratic Party that that no longer exists because there's no more Kirsten Cinema, there's soon to be no more Joe Manchin. Um, if there aren't Democrats who want that um, and are expressing that in these polls, I, I I think it's too soon to say that, but that really jumped out at me that that, that an RFK junior could be at 20 percent. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I would pay anything to see those two debate. I mean, of course, the Democratic Party has already said it's not going to happen. They would never subject Joe Biden to that for reasons like this one. Here's just the latest gaffes do as Joe Biden at an event the White House planned prepared by his own staff with, you always get pronouncers when you have a guest with a difficult name, you know, a name that you might find difficult, and he just can't do it. Here's the latest example from a White House event the other day. I honored a group of trailblazing artists with National Medals of Arts and Humanities. The group included groundbreaking Asian Americans like Vera Wang and 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 Joan Shingang, I'm going to pronounce right, Shanga, Kawawa. I think I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> oh, God. She can call me Joe Bidden. Oh, God. Not only can he get that word out, he can't get out, like, even the world. I think it's a, it's all, it's all. Like, what? I understood nothing. Uh, it's a... <laughs> it's, it's amazing. We, we, on my show, Studios America, we, we have these segments called Hail to the Gaff, and we just highlight things that Joe Biden has done, and we attempt to transcribe them. And like, that's where most of the comedy comes from, <laughs> trying to spell the sounds he's making. It's just remarkable over and over and over again. And that says nothing about the most of the time he's usually lying throughout the statement as well. Um, you know, it's it's really sad. People notice this, of course. I think this is a big part of why his polling is so bad. He was asked about why his polling was so bad in an interview with MSNBC. And and he said, look, everybody who's running for re-election at this point in their campaign has been right around where I am. Well, I went through this. I went all the way back to Harry Truman on this one uh, to see if that was accurate. And there are no examples of any president ever who has the numbers that Joe Biden has and won re-election. There's not one example of them. He's sort of close. This was the basically at the bottom of where Reagan was before he really started his incredible rise to that massive victory. And he's sort of close to Reagan, though still st- significantly behind. He is uh, the only one he's ahead of all the way back to Truman is Jimmy Carter, which you may remember did not win re-election. 
Didn't so, go so well. He, it's lying, it's gaffing, it's all of it together. Mm. There are the, these, are the, these are the numbers from the Washington Post ABC News poll on mental acuity. 63% say Biden does not have the mental sharpness to serve effectively as president. 63% of the American electorate feels that way. That's up from 43% in 2020 when he won. So we are up 20 percentage points after people got a good look at him and he came out of the basement. Uh, 54% say Trump has the mental sharpness it takes to serve effectively as president, obviously considerably higher than where Joe Biden is. When it comes to the head-to-head matchups, this is the thing that's really got people animated on both sides. 44% say they would definitely or probably vote for Trump. 38% say the same about voting for Biden. 44 to 38, that's a six percentage point advantage for Trump. DeSantis versus Biden, it's a five percentage point advantage DeSantis, 42% say they'd vote for DeSantis, 37 say they'd back Biden. Um, I don't know. Andy McCarthy's got a piece up over at National Review saying, don't believe the hype. Like the Democrats want Republicans to believe that Trump can win. They they want Republicans to believe that because they're, they don't believe it. They don't think the ladies in the suburbs will actually pull the lever for him, Dave. So they want the right to get excited about polls like this. Yeah, look, I mean, we've we've seen this dance before, right? I mean, we all lived through 2016 and there was absolutely no chance that Donald Trump could win. I mean, what did the New York Times put his chances like six, seven percent, something like that? And then lo and behold, there's tears in Brooklyn. Um, So, of course, uh, of course, Donald Trump can win this race. And frankly, I, I think that for those people who support DeSantis, electability is just a bad argument. Voters don't care about electability in large part because voters tend to assume that if they like a candidate, other people do as well. And when you look at polling specifically on electability, Trump voters you know, think he can win. Um, so I, I think this is a bad issue. And I think that if you try to say to Republican voters, you know, really hold them hostage and say, well, if you don't support DeSantis, Trump has, has no way of winning. They're not going to believe you. And it's just not a compelling message. So, I mean, I I, I think I, I really think that DeSantis's supporters would do well to stop making the electability argument. It's just never very compelling. Sure. You can go to Brazil or Colombia and get some work done on your face. But why would you do that? You don't have to travel to look great. It is the final week of the Genucel Mother's Day sale, and that will keep you looking good and years younger right at home. Here's a real review from JennyCell.com. Claire writes, I absolutely love JennyCell. My skin feels so good, tighter, younger, with more even tone, and I only used it for a week. My advice for everyone, take a before picture. By the way, her husband Jim said he loved it too. Nothing works like JennyCell because it's a family recipe for over 20 years now, being made by a compounding pharmacist in small batches, always safe, cruelty-free, and natural. Now go to genucell.com slash MK60 and save over 70% off Genucell's most popular package. That's all their best stuff during their Mother's Day sale. Every most popular package features their ultra retinol and dark spot corrector. Don't wait. Go to genucell.com slash MK60, genucell.com slash MK60 and get a complimentary spa essentials box with every package order for only one more week. Get it while the getting's good plus free upgrade to priority shipping. Genucel.com slash MK. Genucel.com slash MK60. Add that 60 on there for your discount. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.